My name is Carrie van der Weyden. I'm a haematologist. Um, I'm also a researcher and I work at the clinical haematology unit that sits in um, Peter McCallum Cancer Centre and the Royal Melbourne Hospital. So particularly in patients with T-cell lymphoma, clinical trials are really important. Um, and I say that not only because I have a vested interest, because I conduct clinical trials myself, but because this is a group of patients in whom the sort of standard treatments that any haematologist can access off the shelf um, may not work in terms of controlling their lymphoma. And so it's very important that we have options for treatments that um, a, may not have been shown to be effective and so we're asking that first question of here's a new drug that looks like it works uh, when we do tests in the lab but let's see in patients who have lymphoma but the much more common scenario that I see is um, access to drugs that otherwise we can't get through Medicare or through the PBS so sometimes clinical trials involve um, drugs that have been shown to work overseas and we're, what we're doing is offering them to patients here in, under the auspices of the clinical trial and sometimes it's things like combinations of drugs that we know work. So drug A that we know works in, in T-cell lymphoma plus drug B, what happens if we put the two together? Do we get a better result for our patients with T-cell lymphoma? And so um, clinical, being offered a clinical trial or having a clinician discuss with you a clinic about a clinical trial doesn't mean that we are necessarily at our last ditch, last effort, last gasp, this is the only thing that can work. Often it's a way of prioritising things that you may not be able to access, but things that we know work. Um, so I think clinical trials are always on, uh, on the menu and it's certainly something that I prioritise with my patients when I'm treating them.